I know you ain't ever seen this before. I know you never seen this before. I know you never seen this before. I decided I was tired of not being able to turn around the cul-de-sacs and things. And one day, this dump truck wouldn't start. So it wouldn't start. We were stuck an hour from my house, basically. We were an hour from the compound. The truck wouldn't start. And a friend happened to come and over and help us get the truck started, me and Captain Jack. He went underneath the truck and he hit on the starter. The truck eventually started. He said, you should let it run for the rest of the day, but it was 10 o'clock in the morning. I was furious. I told Captain Jack, come on, man, let's just go head back home. We've got to do something about this because not only is this truck getting on my nerves, but now it's not starting and it's becoming unreliable on us. So I'm on my way home. I'm texting my wife because my head is about to explode because I'm furious. And I'm like, I got to get a second truck. I got to get a second truck. So she immediately gets on. She starts finding different trucks in the area. I get back to the house and I'm like, all right, let's 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 do this thing. So she sends me a truck. I was already going to look at a new trailer, which we'll get to here in a second. But I was already going to do that. And the truck that I initially wanted to see was an hour away where we had just come from. So I was like, no, nah. she said, we still got to get the kids and all of this. So if you get a truck, that process takes a long time to get through all of the paperwork and all of the stuff that they got to go through. It just always seems to take a very long time to buy a new car or a new truck. So she goes, why don't you instead go to this trailer place and look at the trailer? Cause I had already knew I was going to get this seven by 14 sure track utility trailer. I already knew I was going to get that. So she was like, just go and handle that because that'll be a, a more simple process. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm on my way to do that. Then she texts me and she sends me this truck here, which is a 2015 Ram 1500, which someone already hit and ran, which that didn't take very long. I got hit and ran twice in, <laughs> in one week. It was nuts. But anyway, she found this truck. It had a uh, very, very little rust on it. It was from down south. I'm up here in Pennsylvania. It's four wheel drive, 5.7 Hemi. It cost right around 19,000 and it only had 52,000 miles on it when I bought it. Now we're at like 57. So I decided to downsize to this because when I got the utility, uh, the enclosed trailer and the dump truck it was more so because of the versatility of the dump truck to be able to bring materials and things like that take debris away and then it was the security because i didn't always have the compound so when i got this and the dump truck i didn't i wasn't here at the compound yet and i didn't have i had a storage unit that i didn't want to unload and load things off of a bigger utility trailer because i upgraded from a five by eight a Lowe's trailer to this thing. Now, having this, I was able to keep everything with me. It had better security. I could just park it at night at my storage facility and in my parking space and pretty much not worry about it. No, really, no one ever really bothered it. Security was always good there, even though I didn't really like the place. But this thing would have the blowers vapor locking, the trimmers will be vapor locking because it's like a thousand degrees inside there in the middle of july like we haven't had any rain here now i'm so happy that we went to that utility trailer which i'll walk over and show you here in a second because this is a, a walking sauna and on the top i know you can't see it but i got a one solar powered vent that has an exhaust fan that's for addicts but that only goes so far. I need to probably add a second one to make it a little bit better. But between this and that, our footprint was too big and we had to go down. So now let me show you. We went over the truck. It's, it's just a tradesman. There's no bells and whistles. I'm not going to go through the whole truck showing you. If you've seen one Ram 1500, you've seen them all. But I do use the Rhino hitch. That one has a 14,000 pound hitch and this one has the 10,000 pound Rhino hitch, which is fully adjustable. That thing is fire and it's, it's, uh, it's black. The other one that I have is the stainless steel, I believe it is. But over here, I decided to go with this 14 foot Sure Track 
utility trailer. I also have some equipment defender racks on it, but I'll show you those here in a second. I use the proven locks. You can get those provenindustries.com, I believe it is. I decided to paint it black with an abrasive paint. I get the outdoor paint that has the abrasive stucco or sand additive or something like that. I get it from Sharon Williams. Here's a quick pro tip for if you go to Sharon Williams, all you got to do is let them know you own a business or that you own properties and you get a real substantial discount. So just let them know that when you go in there, set your account up and boom, you get like a, I don't know, it's like a 60 or 50 or 60% discount. It's nuts. But you can get your really, really good paint for a lot cheaper than you can get it at other places. So go there and check that out. And they're actually paint specialists. But I got the paint that had the abrasive in it and then i got a clear coat which is the same clear coat that they put on like boats the clear coat that the, the clear coat paint that they put on boats and and then i ordered the black and red paint chips off amazon and i just threw those down and then i got the clear coat with this it's called shark bite is this type of additive stuff the shark bite in that stirred it up and then we put it on here this stuff is hard as a rock it's waterproof you could spray it off with a pressure washer and then these paint chips just, I, I know you can't really see it, but these paint chips really give it a very, very, there's so much grip. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. There's D-rings on here. There's four D-rings, one here, two down at the end, and then there's one over here. Over here, I have the five gallon equipment the fender gas can rack and i only we only carry our mixed gas in here we don't we i'll show you the mowers in a second but they have 10 and a half gallon tanks so we don't need to fill up but at night or in the morning before we go out and then over here we have the two blower racks i'm going to be putting a trimmer spool right there but i have to get longer screws because the ones that came with equipment defender they're not long enough on the shore track three board high this board right here this these screws aren't long enough i went and bought it this one and then i broke the other one off right here so it's still on here really tight but i gotta finish installing these things but yeah we got the blower rack here this blower rack here and then i know you ain't ever seen this before i know you never seen this before I know you never seen this before. The equipment defender blower rack also doubles as a mower tire, spare tire holder. I've been having the most issues with flat tires. I have twills on one of my mowers, but this is how I've been rocking with the other one. Since my multi-force got a flat tire, I decided to take the other one off, we put the twills on, and now my grandstand, which they have the same tire size, the 52-inch grandstand and the 60-inch multi-force, they got the same tire size. So this is the other six. This is the other tire to the multi-force, and I figured since the grandstand still has the regular tires, and I'm tired of being taken out in a day, I got to get a new air compressor. My Milwaukee air compressor, air compressor died on me, so I got to get a new one, and I have a plug kit now, so I can plug tires in the field but now we got this bad boy in a, as a spare tire holder so i know you never seen one of them before but there it is first time mac landscaping and lawn care youtube channel uh-huh yeah that's what we do out here now let me show you these mowers we'll go inside the compound real quick let's go so last year we would have both mowers the grandstand and the multi-force two blowers, all the trimmers, all the hedge trimmers, chainsaws, pole saws, echo attachments, oil, like every, you name it, we had it because it was all in the enclosed trailer. Uh, but again, like I said, I'm literally just driving around with a whole bunch of stuff basically for no reason when the majority of the time, all we really need is two mowers, two blowers, two trimmers, and maybe a PAS system 
with some attachments in the back seat. That's really it. We don't need much, like an edger attachment or something. And we don't have, I don't have any houses that we got to do, uh, that we use a blade edger on. We do all flip edging with the, with the echo trimmers. But this is all we run with now. We got all of our stuff up on the wall. I'll give you a little tour of the compound later, but we run with the echo. I mean, we run with the Toro multi-force. As you can see, it got the twills on it. There's fins ripped all through that. So we're going to have to get some new twills here soon. Uh, with the flex shoot on it, if you've seen the Toro Multiforce before, I'll do a review on this. This one has 1,400. I'll do a review on this at some point, but this one has 1,400 and almost 58 hours. I don't know if you could see that or not. And then we got this grandstand over here, 52-inch grandstand that has... 2,186 hours on it. So I'm gonna do a review on these two mowers at some point, but now we just take these two mowers, that Echo PB9010, which is missing a filter cover that I just picked up. So we take that one, we take this one for one day, cause we have four little backyards that we need to do. This PB9010, these two trimmers, and that gas can, and that's it. Whereas before we had everything, but again, like I said, this is the mowing rig, the daily mowing rig. We did not need to have all of that stuff. We did not need to have a 16 foot trailer. We did not need to have a big old dump truck for the daily mowing. All I needed was something that was strong enough to pull two mowers. The 1500 ha has plenty of power. It's been doing great with the smaller trailer. The 14 foot trailer, now we are like 26 feet is our footprint, something like that. We're turning around in cul-de-sacs so easy. It's amazing. We can back up the visibility of being able to see out of the back window now. It's so much easier. Even the ramp gate is a little easier to pick up and, and put down. And that's what the cables on the enclosed trailers, it was still a little heavier than my ramp gate is now. But everything is more easily accessible. We're not dealing with any vapor lock because every time we move now, the equipment is getting air. It's getting cooled down. Even in this hot sun, and we haven't got any rain in at least six weeks. Hopefully it rains, please mother nature, give us some rain, but we haven't got any rain. At the end of the day, this is just to show you like you don't, and I don't know if you're just starting out, maybe you only have a push mower, maybe you only have one mower or whatever. I understand there can be even more, more efficient even than this, it can get even, you can be even, have an even smaller footprint. But for me and what I'm, and what we were doing, downsizing to this 1500 and to, this 14 foot trailer and taking less equipment has just been a lot easier on myself. It's been a lot easier on Captain Jack. So I hope you got something from this video. Mac 50 will save you 50% on your equip registration. And if you're going to equip, you can come to the 2024 Win in Life meetup hosted by myself at Vernon Lanes on October 16th, Wednesday night from 6 to 10 p.m. It's free to attend. You can sign up down in the description of the video. And also tune in to On The Attack With Mac live on Instagram, Monday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern, and listen to the podcast, rate and review. It goes a long way to helping other people find out about the podcast, and hopefully they can get something from it because that's what we do it for. As always, I love you. I appreciate you. I wish you nothing but success. Get out there on your grass cut and go kart and go kick ass so you can win in life for your family. Let's go. We out. Peace.